An intriguing Sangamo matchup at Williamsville High School on Tuesday. Moreau Forsyth with just one loss on the year, hitting the road to take on the undefeated Bullets. Obviously, these two teams have a history on the football field. Let's see what would transpire on the baseball diamond. We hop in top three, Cameron Bowling up. Cody Womax pitches, gonna go to the backstop. Aaron Agee comes in to score, and that breaks the scoreless tie as the Trojans take a one nothing lead. Next batter, the pitcher, Brayden Willoughby. He helps himself out. AG spins the wheels. He goes first to home here. Impressive. Trojans up the lead to 2 0. That hair on point miss. To the fourth, the Trojans flashing some leather. Logan also showing off the All State football speed. Well done, kid. Looking like a major leaguer out there. But later in the inning, the Bullets are going to break through. 2-1 for Andrew Roberts. He taters a liner into left center. Tristan Trent scores, as does the TQT boy Garrett Eggleston. We've got a tie ball game. 2-2. Check my mans out. Ice in his veins, according to the T. No hands, apparently. To the sixth. Williamsville is known for being strong out in the field, but the defense not as strong on Tuesday. The sun also blinding. Brock Burkholz with a scream at her left. That plates Tanner Falk and AG. Moreau Forsyth takes the 4-2 lead. He is still rocking the flip phone, but it's okay. He can still download the channel1450.com app on that flip phone. In the seventh, the Trojans are going to get two more. They do it with heads up baseball. Logan Shepard with the sack fly. Bowling comes in to score. Trojans go up 5 2. Later in the inning, same thing, different spot. Will Horv skies one to left. Willoughby tags up. That makes it 6 2. In the bottom of the seventh, Williams will get two runs on an air. But Willoughby trying to go the distance, and he wraps up the complete game with a little two-seam action. Bro Forsyth hands Williamsville its first loss of the year, 6-4 the final. This is our first look at you guys, and you knock off the undefeated Bullets. What does this team bring to the table? Well, I'll tell you what, we've, uh, we, 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 Braden Willoughby, obviously, he's one of the best pitchers in the area. Um, he, he pitched outstanding. We got some timely hits. We capitalized on a few mistakes. They capitalized on a few of our mistakes. So this is a big win as we've had in a long time. Uh, we've played Williamsville for years, um, but now that we're in our conference, it usually means more. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it feels good. The kids feel good. We've, we've had a lot of rain outs. We've only played, uh, this is only our eighth ball game. So um, moved to seven and one, but it, it feels good. and. And I'm happy for these boys uh, because that this is a, a, a win that they needed. You had to battle against a pretty good lineup there. Was there any discussion whether or not you'd go the full distance? Um. Well, I actually texted a coach earlier this morning there in school, and we had a conversation. He eventually said, um, we probably won't need a relief. I said, sounds good to me, so came out and did it. You guys allowed to have phones in school at Murrow Forsyth? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you sure about that? Some teachers enforce it, some don't. Some get them taken away, and yeah. You didn't get yours taken away, though? No, no, not yet. No.